Hello everyone, my name is Wanda and I'm with the Alpha Park Library. Welcome to Mini Melodies, our story time aimed at kids ages 3 to 6. So today's story time is all about grow, so like growing. So if you remember, a while ago we did a flower story time. This story time was more about plants, like vegetables. And if you come and pick up this week's craft, you're going to get some sugar snap pea seeds that you can plant in your garden and maybe they'll grow and you'll get your own vegetables. So take out your lesson plans and follow along. As always, we're gonna start with you'll sing a song and I'll sing a song. Here we go. You'll sing a song and I'll sing a song and we'll sing a song together. You'll sing a song and I'll sing a song in warm or wintry weather. Okay, let's go again. You'll sing a song and I'll sing a song and we'll sing a song together. You'll sing a song and I'll sing a song in warm or wintry weather. Okay, awesome. So our next song is called Applesauce to the tune of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. So this song is how you make applesauce and then the second verse is how you make banana bread. So I guess I said it was about vegetables, but fruit too. You could also grow fruit in your garden. Trees just take a long time to grow. Okay, here we go. Peel an apple, chop it up, simmer in a pot. When it's finished, you will see applesauce for you and me. Peel a banana, mash it up, bake it in a pan. When it's finished, you will see banana bread for you and me. I love making banana bread. It's so easy. Okay, let's sing the song again. Peel an apple, chop it up, simmer in a pot. When it's finished, you will see applesauce for you and me. Peel a banana, mash it up, bake it in a pan. When it's finished, you will see banana bread for you and me. Okay, so our first book is called Planting the Wild Garden. It's the perfect time of year to start planting. The farmer and her boy plant their garden. They drop seeds, tiny, fat, round, and oval, into the earth. From these seeds, pumpkins and peas, carrots and cabbages will grow. In the wild meadow garden, many seeds are planted too, but not by farmers' hands. Whoosh. The wind scatters seeds. It spills them and spins them and sweeps them up, up into the sunlight and out across the fields. Per chicory, per chicory. Waves of black and gold dip into the meadow, peck, peck, peck. The flock of goldfinches bobbles and sways. Some thistle seeds float to the earth, others are strewn across the meadow in droppings. Under the afternoon sun, the pods of the scotch blue broom grow hot and dry. Snap, snap, out pop their seeds like popcorn from a pan. They land here and there and snap over there where they will have more room to grow. Plip-plop, the rain patters on dusty leaves. Raindrops splash and splatter the dry earth, washing seeds to new places in the meadow. The stream carries seeds too. Gulp, gulp, minnows dine on some. Others lodge along the bank. Next spring, new pussy willow shoots will poke up through the mud. Hidden in the tall weeds, a rabbit nibbles a stalk of yarrow, now a nibble of grass. Nibble, nibble, hop, hop, another seed falls to the ground. A hungry shadow watches. She slips past the tangle of cockleburs. She creeps through the Queen Anne's lace. Seeds catch on her thick coat. They hook onto her white tipped tail and jump, fly off everywhere. In the summer moonlight, one, two, three, four masked faces, four ring tails, a family of raccoons feast on blackberries. Chomp, chomp, chomp. When they amble home again, bits of berries and seeds go with them. Next spring, new prickly canes will pop up everywhere. Thump, bump, an acorn falls, then another. Quick, quick, the squirrel buries both and hunts for more. 
When winter comes, scratch, 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 down through the snow he digs, one fat acorn, then another, plenty of food to last till spring. Some nuts are lost, but few are wasted. This great oak tree grew from an acorn buried many years ago. Isn't that cool? Stomp, stomp, people help plant the meadow too. Seeds travel on muddy boots, hitchhike on sweaters, snag on socks, and whoosh, sail on a puff of breath. You like when you blow a dandelion to make a wish. Those are all seeds. Seed by seed, we planted this wild meadow garden, wind and water, birds and animals, plants and people, all of us together. Isn't that really cool? How all the plants get planted by accident, you know, like they catch on your sweater, like when you get the little cockleburs and they'll fall off. But sometimes they'll grow into a big plant. And this actually ties in with our craft this week, which is the life cycle of a plant. So once you plant your little sugar snap peas outside, you could watch it grow and look at the different stages. So stage one is a seed. So we need to grow what that, I mean, draw what that seed looks like. Stage two is a sprout. So I want you to draw what a sprout looks like. Stage three is stem. So I want you to grow what the stem looks like. Then stage four is going to be a flower. Okay, so I want you to draw what the little flowers look like. Okay. So that's pretty special, huh? So next is a poem and it's called Rainbow Stew. Okay, so you're gonna take a tomato, put it in a pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot, take it out, what will it be? What color will it be? The prettiest red you ever did see. Take a carrot, put it in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot, take it out, and what will it be? The prettiest orange you ever did see. Take a cabbage, put it in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot, take it out, what will it be? The prettiest purple you ever did see. What did we make with our rainbow stew? A magical rainbow for me and you. So what other colors can these vegetables be? Because when tomatoes grow, they go from green to yellow to red, you know, and apples are all kinds of different colors. So they can be red and green and yellow. I remember in school, they had us color an apple. Um, I think it was my brother who did this, but he colored the apple green. And the teacher said that was wrong because apples are red, but apples can be so many more colors than red, can't they? Some apples are different colors, so there's so many beautiful colors found in plants, huh? So let's go ahead and say the poem again, but let's think of different colors this time. So take a tomato, put it in the pot. Stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out, and what will it be? Well, it could be the prettiest green you ever did see. Take a carrot, put it in the pot. Stir it, stir it, stir it a lot. Take it out, and what will it be? Carrots are usually orange. I'm not sure what other colors they could be. So I guess it would be the prettiest orange you ever did see. Then you can take a cabbage, put it in the pot, stir it, stir it, stir it a lot, take it out, and what will it be? The prettiest green you ever did see. So there's green cabbage and purple cabbage, and red cabbage too. But I think red cabbage is the purple. There's so many different colors, huh? It's kind of overwhelming. So what did we make with our rainbow stew? We made a magical rainbow for me and you. See, I look at vegetables and see how many different colors they can be. It's really cool. So this goes with our next book, which is going to be Rainbow Stew. See all the different colors of vegetables that they get. Stretch, wiggle, sniff and giggle. We scramble from our beds. Grandpa's making pancakes for his favorite sleepy heads. We love to visit Grandpa. It's always so much fun. He lets us play outside all day so we can jump and run. Whimper, sigh, cloudy sky. Is it too wet to play? We don't want to stay inside because of rain today. Grandpa smiles and says to us, I know what we can do. Let's go and find some colors for my famous rainbow stew. Splish, splash, puddle dash. We bounce right out the door. We're off to find some red and green, some yellow, orange, and more. Grandpa shows us how to move between each garden row. Lifting up the drippy leaves, we see what colors grow. Drip, drop, shake, and hop. Here are lots of greens. Spinach, kale, and cucumbers. Zucchini, peas, and beans. We find some yellow peppers 
and a purple cabbage head. We tug on rosy radishes and pop them from their bed. Slip, slide, squishy stride, we snip off red tomatoes. We dig into the dark red dirt and pull out brown potatoes. We jump around like grasshoppers and buzz about like bees. We creep along like ladybugs and all get muddy knees. Pull, pick, gather quick. We need more for the stew. Grab some orange carrots and a purple eggplant too. Our basket's full of colors. We park it by the door. Our clothes and boots are dripping, making puddles on the floor. Grandpa helps us wash our hands and dries our soggy hair. It's almost time to cook, he says, so find dry clothes to wear. Peel, slice, chop, and dice. Colors fill the pot. Stir in herbs and water, and then wait till it gets hot. Grandpa says he's proud of us. We're such terrific cooks. While the stew is heating, we have time to read our books. Howl, yowl, tummies growl. We're a hungry bunch. It's time to serve up heaping bowls of rainbow stew for lunch. Yum, 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 yum. It's full of really good vegetables, huh? And there's a recipe for a rainbow stew in the back of the book. So if you want to make that, you can follow along. Okay, so then our next song is going to be Candy Corn for Dinner. My mom and dad put me in charge of our dinner tonight. They said I could make anything as long as we ate right. I had to serve some vegetables, a salad, and a stew. I thought a while and cooked a bit, and here is my menu. We're having candy corn for dinner with a side of chocolate stew, a three jelly bean salad, and an ice cream sandwich too. Does that sound healthy? No. It's not really like the really good for you rainbow stew, huh? But it sounds good. I love sugary sweets. So let's sing it again, okay? My mom and dad put me in charge of our dinner tonight. They said I could make anything as long as we ate right. I had to serve some vegetables, a salad, and a stew. I thought a while and cooked a bit, and here is my menu. We're having candy corn for dinner with a side of chocolate stew, a three jelly bean salad, and an ice cream sandwich too. Okay, thank you so much for watching today's story time. Hope you learned a lot about plants and I inspired you to grow some wonderful vegetables in your garden. So I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.